Hello, uh, my name is Valerie Leahy. I'm the Postgraduate Recruitment Officer at University of Galway, and this is Funding Your Postgraduate Studies. So looking at the main sources of postgraduate funding, you may be self-funded, you may have saved for your postgraduate course over a period of time and be funding yourself. You may be in receipt of a grant. You may be a scholarship or bursary recipient. If you're a researcher, you may have received some research funding. There are government initiatives you may have availed of for postgrad study. Your employer may have sponsored you to uh, on a further education scheme to take up a course, or you may, may have taken an education loan. And I'm going to go into uh, most of these in depth in this short presentation. So thinking first, what do you have to budget for in terms of your postgrad costs? Well, you'll have to pay your course fee, which comprises your tuition fees, plus a student levy. At the moment at University of Galway, that student levy is 140 euros per annum per student. Then you'll have to factor in as well your cost of living expenses. Now this table shows a brief outline of what you can expect to pay um, in cost of living to keep yourself per annum as a student. This table was taken from our Student Life Financial Matters uh, Cost of Living website. So you can check that out where it updates regularly. And it also has uh, more information there on costs associated with going to university. Thinking about what your course will cost, our course fees are online. They're on each of our individual course web pages. So just click the course fees tab to see what those are. Or if you're made an offer to one of our postgraduate courses, your fees will be detailed in your online offer or your downloadable offer letter. Please note that your fees, the fees may vary by course or by college and that there are different rates for EU and for non-EU students. The first installment of your postgraduate fees is a non-refundable deposit, which is usually 500 euros. And you pay that when you accept your offer and it secures your course place. So you have one installment in essence done early in the process. You generally then pay the remainder of your fees in two installments. The first is at registration in the autumn and the balance then is in the new year in the second semester. And it's noteworthy that um, once you've registered, you can apply to our fees office for a monthly payment plan. So you can actually pay your postgrad fees off by monthly installments if that best suits you. You can claim tax relief on tuition fees you pay for eligible PG courses, and you can visit the Revenue Office website for details of that. And if you have any fee queries, please email our fees office, fees at universityofgalway.ie, and they'll be happy to help. Thinking about grants, you may well be, um, be awarded a grant via SUSE, the National Grants Authority, to fund your postgrad studies. So it's worth noting that they generally open in April to accept applications and they close in around July annually um, from accepting applications. But again, please check the SUSE website for those dates. Grants are for full-time postgrad courses only. And in general, they cover a portion of fees only, up to a maximum at the moment of €6,270. And some grants will provide for maintenance as well. The majority of our students who receive a postgraduate grant receive approximately €4,000 fee contribution from SUSE. I'd advise you to use SUSE's online eligibility, eligibility reckoner in advance to see if you're likely to receive a grant. It's a really handy tool where you can input your detail and it'll give you a good indicator of whether you will be um, a recipient of a postgrad grant once you fill in their um, application process. Some tips that Susie provided us, uh, provided to us, these are all available on their website, are that when you're making a grant application with them, bear in mind their key eligibility criteria, which will include things like nationality, residency, and the progression you're making in your education. They also provide tips on apply early, um, include a relevant people in your application that might strengthen the rate you'll be awarded and um, complete your documentation and return it on time. They also have many means of keeping in touch with them via their website, email, their social media channels, and they have a telephone help desk available as well. Looking at scholarships as a funding means for you, uh, we have a flagship scholarship scheme for taught masters. 
um, this rewards excellence that you attain at undergraduate level. So if you're presenting as an EU student with first class honours in your undergraduate degree and you're embarking on a full time master's with us, then eligible recipients who've accepted a course offer with us will receive 1500 euro off your fees. Now, it's important to note that you need to complete a separate scholarship application from the course application and all details are on our postgraduate scholarships website. Other postgraduate scholarships are also available and um, these may be course or college or school specific and they'll vary in terms of the scholarship amount that's awarded. Again, if you visit our postgraduate scholarships website, we have detail of all these listed. We also have international students scholarship um, opportunities and they are on our international scholarships website. One of our schools that I'll mention that has um, a suite of uh, merit based scholarships for postgrad level um, is our J.E. Cairns School of Business and Economics. Um, so to be eligible for one of their scholarships, you need to have first class honours or an international equivalent in your undergraduate degree and you need to have accepted an offer on your chosen postgrad programme in the School of Business. Those scholarships are very generous and they, the awardees are awarded up to 50% of tuition fees. So well worth checking those out. All detail is on the Cairns web, uh, School website or on the aforementioned postgraduate scholarships website. Thinking about Funding as a research student, we have available um, our flagship PhD scholarship scheme, the Hardiman Scholarship Scheme, and you can check out the Hardiman Scholarship website on the University of Galway website for detail on Hardiman scholarships. Or our researchers may have secured funding to fund a research student. So those opportunities will be publicised on our website, on our social media channels, and or listed here on our About Us Jobs research website. I'd also advise you to check out the Irish Research Council site, which lists lots of funding opportunities for research students. Looking at government funded initiatives, the government has a few schemes in place. They, uh, they are the Springboard Scheme, the ICT Skills Conversion Scheme, and the Human Capital Initiative, the HCI. In general, these schemes will, uh, course places on postgrad programmes will be free for those who are unemployed and 90% funded for those who are employed. So you can check out the websites for these, or you can check out our website, which is under Adult Learning Springboard, to see the Springboard and HCI and ICT skills conversion courses we have available in these schemes. The government also fund, uh, in general, um, communication technology, computer science type courses under the Skillnet programme. And you can check out the Skillnet website for an overview of these master's programmes, including the ones that we have within that scheme. So then looking at whether you might get funding via your employer. Many employers will have further education schemes in place. These are found to aid employee retention, obviously allow them to upskill their workforce and boost also staff morale who may apply for um, such schemes and uh, get partial or full funding to take on a postgraduate programme. So if you're working, I'd advise you to talk to your employer or your human resources department to see if they would be willing to fund you to take on a postgraduate programme. You could mention to them that you may be able to take on a specific work project as part of your postgrad coursework. So that's a win-win for them in getting uh, something back from funding you with up this upskilling and extra study that a work-based work problem may be solved via a project you'll do in your studies. And if you're not working yet, I think it's something to consider in your job search. And it's also a great question for that dreaded question in an interview. Have you any questions for us that you can ask about what are your lifelong learning opportunities and show a potential employer how interested you are to keep upskilling um, for the benefit of yourself and for them, the employer. And then finally, I'm just going to touch on spreading the costs and education loans. I've mentioned that you can pay your fees, postgrad fees at University of Galway in installments. You can also consider a part-time program so th that you can basically be working whilst you're learning. And um, we offer a range of such part-time and online and blended learning courses. You can check these out on our online learning uh, portal. And you may think about an education loan. 
Um, so these generally offer preferential interest rates or you can defer them the, the, their, their paid back. So talk to your bank or to the credit, credit union in this regard. Uh, for example, the credit union at the moment has a really uh, preferential interest rate of 5.5% interest for its education loans. And many of the banks then offer deferred payment terms. So you could be out working, say, for at least a year after completing a master's before you have to start paying back that education loan, which is, is really in your favour. So um, I'm just going to end on just kind of a reminder to remind you um, that all of this is a, an investment in your future, attaining a postgraduate qualification. It's proven to give you, um, to progress you in your career, to progress you in your lifetime earnings, over a lifetime earnings gain with a postgrad qualification, and to give you a, a higher uh, starting salary as well. So um, I hope that this will incentivize you to look into postgraduate study, and this has given you some information about how to fund those studies. If you have any queries at all that I can help you with after watching this presentation, please email me at postgrad at universityofgalway.ie. Thank you.